Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and Aspen channel. As you know, these days we are focusing on the module of Chemical Reaction Engineering. So in this regard, we are bringing the lecture number 31 for our valuable pupils. So in today's course coverage, we will move to now chapter number 6, which is again related to isothermal design. However, there are two aspects of isothermal design, which is the building block number 4 of our CRE algorithm. What we have studied in chapter number 5 was related to or based on the conversion while this is based on moles and molar flow rates and today we will discuss the algorithm for design for liquid and gas phase. if you remember our chapter number 5 we started with the algorithm then we have derived various equations or various systems and then we have solved different numericals in the same way we will be solving the chapter number 6 where we will be defining the algorithm first then we will be solving some numericals which will be related to micro reactors and membrane reactors and so on. So starting with this design algorithm, now you see this is a reversible reaction that we assume that one mole of A reacts with two mole of B to produce one mole of C in a reversible manner. Obviously the first step is mole balance and that was the same step in the previous chapter as well that we have to write mole balance on each species. There it was not any on each species, it was simple mole balance for CSTR, PFR, PBR, or so on. But here you have to write for the each species involved in the system. Like DFA over DV is equal to RA for first species or A species, then for species B, B of DFB over DV is equal to RB, and so on. Then we have to write the rate law in terms of concentration since it's a reversible reaction. So accordingly, the term will be a bit different. That minus RA is equal to KCA. CB square, if it would have been irreversible, that would have been ended here. But since it's a reversible system, so minus C of C over K of C and that capital K is the equilibrium constant. The third step or the new step which we will be encountering here is the relative rates. That we have to relate the rate of reaction of each species to one another. And we have studied that relative rate at the start of chapter number 3. So minus RA over 1, minus RB over 2, or RC over 1. According to the rate divided by its stoichiometric coefficient. So Rb is equal to 2 moles of Ra or 2 times Ra. R of C is equal to minus Ra. Then we have to go to the stoichiometry again the same step but a bit different in terms. Let's write the concentrations in terms of molar flow rates. If you remember we had derived equation in terms of conversion but today or from this chapter we will be starting to relate it in terms of molar Flow rates. Moles and molar flow rates is the basis of isothermal design in this chapter while the conversion was the basis in the previous chapter. So accordingly C of A is equal to CT0 which is the total concentration at the inlet F of A over FT total flow rate and flow rate of that component T0 which is the initial temperature divided by final temperature P over P0, T0 is the initial pressure and P is the final pressure. In the same way we have to write for species B as well and accordingly for C as well. And accordingly, the total flow rate is F of A plus F of B plus F of C. And for batch or liquid phase reactions, we have to use the concentrations, example given C of A and C of B. We will study it once we will proceed in this chapter. Then we have to include the pressure drop in the system. And if you remember, we have just recently solved the numericals. DP over DW is equal to minus alpha over 2P. This P is the pressure ratio, T over T naught, F of P over F T naught with P is equal to capital P which is the outlet pressure over P naught initial pressure. Then we have to combine all these steps like we have to combine mole balance rate law, relative rates, stoichiometry, pressure drop and we have to use either polymath or excel or manual calculations to solve and to evaluate these. And for PBR remember we have to use RA prime or RB prime or RC prime because the unit of RA are mole per volume per time while that of PBR it will be mole per gram of catalyst per time. This is the overall design algorithm for chapter number 6. Now applying mole balance on liquid phase reactions as we have said that we will be using the concentration terms while for gas phase system we will be using the flow rate terms. So for batch reactor we have derived that equations as well that DCA over DT is equal to RA while for DCB over DT we will use its stoichiometric coefficient because if you remember we have to make the stoichiometric coefficient of limiting reactant as 1 
and other quantities divided by that psychometric coefficient. So if we say that we have divided the equation by small a, so it will be b over a r a. For c, it will be c over a into r a. In the same way for c s t r, we say v is equal to v naught. If we assume that the volumetric flow rate is constant, bracket c a naught minus c a over minus r a. And for b species, v is equal to v naught c b naught minus c b over minus b over a into r a. For p f r, v naught b c a over d v is equal to r a, and v naught b c b over d v d v is equal to b over a into r of a. And in the same way, we can write the equation for p b r. The only difference will be v replaced by w and r a replaced by r a prime. So this is the mole balance for the liquid phase reactions. Now for the gas phase reactions, how we can apply the mole balance and weights accordingly? That if we say that a of a that small a, I expand it a bit. The small a is the stoichiometric coefficient of species a. Small b is the stoichiometric coefficient of species b, and accordingly c and d. For CSTR, PFR, and PBR, we say v is equal to F A naught minus F of A over minus R A. D F A over D V is equal to R B. D F A over D W is equal to R A prime. For B, F B naught minus F B over minus R B. D F B over D V is equal to R B, and D F B over D W is equal to R B prime. And in the same way for C and D as well. Accordingly, applying rate and assuming that we shall continue the algorithm using PBR as, as an example. Minus R A prime is equal to K of A C A raised to power alpha C B raised to power beta. This is our kinetic equation, rate equation, or power law equation. If you have, if you remember our previous lectures, then relative rates. Rate divided by stoichiometric coefficient. So R A prime over minus A is equal to R B prime over minus B is equal to R C prime over C, and that is equal to R D prime over D. Or we can say R B prime is equal to B over A into R R A prime. R C prime is equal to minus C over A R A prime, and R D prime is equal to minus D over A R prime. We have already solved these parts in our previous chapters, and that is why it was said at the start that if your building block is stable. Would be able to understand all these aspects, and if your building blocks are weak, like previous concepts are not appropriate or weak, then it will cause problem for you in upcoming lectures. So this was from chapter one and two, and this is from chapter three. Then applying the stoichiometry concept, chapter four, which is C of A is equal to C T naught F A over F T T naught over T small p, and that is the pressure ratio for B. F of A is replaced by F of B. Rest is the same for C again F of C and for D F of D. Then using the pressure drop expression D P over D W is equal to minus alpha over two P F T over F T naught T over T naught. Well, that T is the pressure ratio and total flow rate is F of A B C D and if there are any inerts present in the system, then we will add it as well. Then combining all of these, that appropriate reactor mole balance on each species. Because if it's a series TR, we will use that equation. If it's a PFR or PBR, we will use their differential equations. Or for series TR, it will be an algebraic equation. Then rate law concentration for each species and pressure drop equation. Then finally, we have to evaluate it. Let's specify and enter parameter values like the rate constant, total concentration at the inlet, the alpha, beta, T naught values, the stoichiometric coefficient values. Then Specify and enter entering molar flow rates, which are the F A naught, F B naught, F C naught, F D naught, and final volume, B final. So we will once we will go to the real time example, we will see how we can do all these steps one by one, and finally use an ordinary differential equation solver. That many times we will let the O D solver replace F four, which is combined. That we have to use polymath or some other software to solve this point as well. So this is the overall. Design algorithm for gas phase reactions. So, if you see, we have done initially the overall design algorithm. Then we have seen how to apply mole balance for liquid phase system, how to apply design algorithm for the gas phase system. The next lecture, we will solve a real time example of micro reactor, and we will be solving that example in polymath as well. So that's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Also, click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.